The Icon Show presents the greatest photos of all time with special guest host, Canada's very own, Mary O'Connell, and now your host, Gemma the Icon. We are your friends. We are your friends. <laughs> Excuse me. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Icon Show. I'm your host, Gemma. With me, as always, is... There he is, Philip. Hey, Gemma. Hello, good, friend. Good to see you. Yeah, I, it's, it's been a while. I missed uh, I missed the show. Yeah. You guys held it down and represented. I was proud of you. Cheers to you, um, But it's good to be back. Thank you. Um, I, look, I'll just... I'll, I've got a couple things I just want to say off the top. It's uh, I think it's I think it's like 135 degrees here in New York City, at least in my apartment on the fifth floor of this apartment building with this shitty uh, uh, air conditioning uh, unit in the window. And I yeah, I'm wearing a short sleeve shirt, so I'm doing a demo like the Dwight Schrute here this evening. You should have told me I would have been. (laughs) And. I'm, look, I'm in dire need of a haircut. It's been a busy few weeks for me. I am, I'm out of sorts. I'm feeling I'm feeling funky. I think I'm show tonight, and uh, let's do it. All right, beautiful man. Well, it's great to see you, man. And you sped up a little bit there. I think we may have some technical difficulties tonight on your end, Philip. Oh really? I'm hardwired <laughs> yeah. in. I'm I'm not even doing Wi-Fi. Uh, I don't know. Oh, I don't Jesus. know. Right, Whatever. Listen. It's a, it's okay. It happens I here welcome. every week. Every week. Uh, look who else is here. Hey guys. Right. Be right. Be All right. right. Sam oh, Summer. Hot, hot, hot. It's Very hot. hot. Yeah, it is. It is hot. Yeah. Hot. I, so you guys up 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 where you are experience the same thing I am, right? Yeah. It's terrible. I hate it. Sucks. Yeah. Hundred today. Yeah. 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 Okay. I, I stayed indoors most of the day. Good call. Most of the day. I was on a crowded uh, New York City subway today, and <laughs> I was not enjoying my life. Yeah, yeah, that's all right. That's all right. But good stuff, man. Um, we we had a really uh, special guest this evening, Philip. I um, I don't know if you guys have ever met. This was um, no years ago. Uh, I mean. I, I, what is the story? I don't know. I, I may let her tell the story because I I've indulged in some of the Cinderella ninety nine tonight. Oh, you're not a good yeah. historian right now. I'm I understand. A horrible, horrible historian. But you know, if it, if it, it's there, sometimes it'll come like that. So without further ado, Canada's very own, the first lady, Miss Mary O'Connell. Everybody. Hey guys, Thanks welcome. For yeah. Yes, Mary. Mary, how are you? Pretty good. I, I love the. I, I, you know what? I'm, I'm. You put me on the spot. I'm like. I'm trying to remember how we met too. I think, I think it, I, it was something with with, with Sam. I, I think, think it was Nancy Hall. Maybe. I think. Were you up for a bachelor party? Maybe. I was. Yes. Yeah. I think yes. that was it. And and there was a. And there was Sam Roberts played like three nights at Massey Hall, right? Yeah. Yeah. No, I you, think we we've known each other before that. I think. Probably from Sam Roberts shows. Yeah, still yeah. from still well, from that. Actually, maybe it was through Jimmy. Was it through Jimmy? Jimmy. Well, maybe. There you have it, folks. <laughs> hey, the world will never know, but we—it's it, a great relationship. And Mary, it's been so long. Thank you so much. I'm glad we uh, were able to reconnect here, and you're here. You're here. You're live. And how how's the weather up there in Canada? It is rainy and hot up here. I'm I'm in, I'm in Toronto right now. Yeah. So, you're, so you guys are Boston, New York, Boston, Boston, Boston Philip, New York. Yeah. It doesn't matter. It's hot everywhere. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Nice. But yeah, it, it's oh, Mary's here, Philip. Yeah, it's Mary. Yeah, this is this is fantastic. <laughs> this is, Toronto this is, is a, a just a world class city, uh, and uh, we're glad to get some representation from there. Yeah, and so did you guys started this show? Was it during pandemic that you guys started it, like during COVID? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we same did. With, same with me. I um, because I have a weekly radio show up here, 
and same thing. It started in, um, started, I think it started in like August. And so I do kind of like one hour, like long format interviews. So like one guest a week type deal. So yeah. been doing that since, uh, I guess since August. Yes. Yeah, so it's pretty, pretty interesting. And, and this is it right here, right? It's called Dangerfield. Yes. <laughs> a fine show, a fine yeah. show with Mary O'Connell right there. Yeah. You see that? Boom. And the, and a funny thing, yeah, so my first, um, that, the funny thing is, so that photo that you see there, a friend of mine is uh, works with Birds of Prey, and she actually got the, like, she works with, like, raptors and all of that kind of stuff, so she got, like, the hawk, so the, the, the station that it's on is called the hawk, and she got the, she got the, the hawk to, like, fly around and do the first posters, that was pretty cool. Yeah, that is nice, nice. that is very nice, yeah. Beautiful. Dangerfield. There it is. There it is. Now, yeah. is. Is that a chicken hawk? Do you know? Is it what kind of hawk is it? I have no idea. There's a lot of different hawks out there. You know that. There, there really are. Yeah. 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 And my I think first so. guest, um, do you guys know who band? Like, well, you know, have you heard of Walter Schreifels? He's like, he's in like quicksand and like rival schools and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. He was the first cool. guest. Yeah. So nice. He was the inaugural guest. Very yeah. Cool. Well, 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 fuck, Mary. That's so awesome that you do that. It, it, it's crazy how all the all this stuff kind of intertwines together a little bit in a way. Yeah. Well, right? the interesting thing too has been like, just you know, musicians are always like, go, 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 right? So it's like to have like to, like the world stop for them. So right. I, like everyone was kind of you know struggling and figuring out what the hell to do with their time too, right? So yeah. yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Well, good. Well, Mary, tell everybody else where we can find you. What, 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 what's going on in your world and everything else besides Dangerfield so far? Uh, like, like personally. Yeah, sure. Why not? If you want, go ahead. It's it, you know free for all here. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> so like, um, I've got like an Instagram where I do a bunch of art, which is kind of fun. So it's just like a mix of like uh, pretty much music related art, I would say. So uh, that's Instagram.com slash M-O-H-S-E dot art. And uh, yeah, so if you click on the, click on the other link there. This one, or which one? I think it's like- The art a, page? Yeah, the art page. Okay. Yeah, so, so that's where you can find me. And that's where I just do like a bunch of, a bunch of stuff. I've started making music video. Oh yeah, that's a vinyl record album mm -hmm. um, cool. yeah and yeah. so yeah that's where i kind of post all my my shows and, and look at that, uh, look at that. Sam. yes that's like a mashup i did so i took like the the front of massey hall and uh and i added it to their album cover yeah that actually looks better, I think. <laughs> than their actual, no, but yeah. Well, if you, if, if you see those uh, fine gentlemen, please tell tell them we all say hello. Thanks. It's been a while. It's been a while. This is this is this is going to be fun. It's going to be fun, Philip. Yeah, Philip. What are we doing, buddy? We are talking about photography tonight, and uh -huh. uh, we we're all going to uh, rank our try to rank i don't know these things are uh, amorphous they change over time depending on like when you oh you're you have a question already jim i i do i'm sorry to interrupt philip <laughs> i had one more thing for for mary one more question sure. i think before we get into the whole thing mary do you still do work with the uh, boys and girls club yes i've been with boys and girls clubs for 13 years yeah very yeah. nice so, so tell us a little bit about about that nice. so I work, um, so I'm like the director of Can for Canada of all their marketing and communications. So I do like, you know, so I do like their big PSAs, the branding and all that kind of stuff. And I also work with the youth as well. So yeah, very nice. very and so we actually just changed in Canada. We just changed our name from Boys and Girls Clubs to BGC because we found that uh, like it wasn't as inclusive. So we yeah. like a lot of, uh, a lot of kids and teens were kind of, not feeling welcome because of the name. So, sure. so we changed it, which was, it's been around for over a hundred years. So that was pretty, pretty big wow. endeavor to do. Wow, but, wow. that's, but yeah, that's but really I, cool. Yeah. yeah, it is nice. It is nice and, and, and a good, good for the change then too, you know? Exactly. Why not? Yeah, Why not? yeah. Some, some of us aren't boys or girls. Some of us are non-binary. 
like it's a it's a spectrum yeah. that's yeah. that's what's up good for that's you it. mary that's yeah. it that, that's right. a, that's really cool philip yeah, so uh, that's all. That's really that's a really smooth segue back into talking about photography. Um, uh, yeah, so we, we were tasked with uh, picking three of our favorite photographs of all time, and we didn't put any uh, boundaries around it. It doesn't. It can be art. It can be uh, just found footage. It can be uh, something from a family member. Like whatever you got, let's talk about it. Let's look at these pictures. Brian, Brian's out. He's like, fuck this. I hate photography. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's uh, that's that's what we're doing this week. It is did I understand our assignment correctly? Yeah, that that's that's proper. Uh, hopefully, Mary also understood. Yeah. I think yeah, yeah. I think we're good. So to be honest, I was waiting for Mary to send me at least three photos. I, I didn't get any photos from Mary tonight. <laughs> No, I know because I wanted to kind of just talk to some of the ones that are on my walls. And here. that's beautiful. Yeah, I, I nice. love it. Just the yeah. spontaneity and, and just, yeah, I mean, yeah. it's there. It's yours. It's, it's for live. I mean, why yeah. not? You know? Yeah, let's make sure we like zoom in on her when it's her time. Oh, so yeah. We can, so we can really yeah. see see what's going on Thanks there because it. I can already see that that's a, there's a lot going on on the wall behind yeah. her. Yeah. And, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm curious to get get a closer look that's right that's right and mary by the way I, I must say you make some badass fucking artwork and i need a lighter oh, I, I think i've been asking you for a lighter for maybe that is true. close to 20 years now that's how it all started yeah. yes yes it's all coming back to us by the end of the show we're gonna remember <laughs> how how we've uh crossed paths here all right so philip yeah buddy you who want wants me to, to go, go first? first do you want to go first I, um, so should we do ladies first? But I'm kind of, I'm really eager. You guys go. I'm curious okay. who you have. Yeah. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Philip. All right. Let me let me do a share okay. screen here. Give me one there second go, to figure out how this uh, is going to work. Brian's going to HR, by the way. Human resources. <laughs> Why for just disappearing off the face <laughs> of the know. earth? You might. I, I so I've I've got my phone in my pocket. So no, that's not right. right. Hold on. There's Hold you. on. What's this? All right. Uh, here is the photo I want to do first. That's Brian's. Can you see this? <clears throat> yeah. We can. All right. Um, That's Brian's photo, though, Philip. Oh, it's not working. Hold on, hold on. We're, we're off to a fucking hot start here, Philip, tonight. I'm using – I've never sh shared using uh, this, this particular software. I'm going to want to play around with it. All right, now what do you see? Do you see a dog jumping in the air? Ah, uh, yeah, there's Jordan. That's Jordan. Okay, so this this is an important photo to me because for a couple of reasons. That is uh, my my d deceased dog uh, right there, Jordan, uh, attacking a uh, stuffed elephant. This photo was taken by a dear, dear friend of mine, Hiro, Hiro Tanaka, yeah. who is a uh, celebrated Japanese uh, photographer. Uh, and this photo of my dog has won several awards, uh, some in Germany, France, and across Europe. Um, and he released a photo book, and this was like the, uh, the centerpiece of it was my dog in mid-flight uh, attacking, attacking this elephant i have this uh, i have a huge print of this framed in my in my bedroom uh i look at it often jordan jordan lived to be uh, 19 years old uh her last few years were pretty ugly but uh, she was a mischievous awesome awesome dog she humped jemo's leg i don't know how many times <laughs> we we had uh, a yeah we had a, uh, a lot of good a lot of good memories with this dog and, and then also Hero is one of my favorite people in the world. He's a fucking hilarious dude. Uh, Gemmo, you've met him. He's delightful. Love him. Love him. Energetic, fun, full of life. And his photography kind of captures that, this burst of energy. And that's what it's like hanging out with Hero. That was what it was like hanging out with Jordan. Yeah. And I think this photo kind of uh, encapsulates all of that. So that was my first photo um, that I wanted to share. Excellent. Cheers to Jordan. Yeah, to Jordan. Yeah. Thank you. Cheers. Cool. All right. Let's crack open a drink if we're cheering. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's beautiful, Philip. I, I love Jordan. Love Jordan. No, I know you did. Jordan yeah. loved you. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, good times, good times. Well, they, I, I, you know what? I love that pick, Philip. Love it. Thank you. Usually, Thank you. I, I don't care for your picks. No, I, you made that very clear. Oh, yeah. yeah, this this one this one's top notch. You're not going to like anything else I have. So, uh, thank okay. you for sharing. All right, so Philip, I'm trying something new tonight, kind of. So bear with me if there's any technical difficulties on my yeah, end. Yeah, technical difficulties. Yeah, yeah. I will. Uh, I will show the same level of patience that you uh, share with me. <laughs> okay, fair enough. All right, so here, where is it? Oh, yeah. There it is. Okay. Do you guys see that? Not yet. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Yeah. So that is me. <laughs> I remember that one. In a wedding dress. That makes me that. That. I'm getting a little uncomfortable. <laughs> this, this is <laughs> this is my wife's actual wedding dress that she wore. Uh Philip, I maybe you can tell. I don't know. You were you were at the wedding. Best yeah. man you were, sir. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, can I tell? I'm yeah, a little you tell? distracted by the, <laughs> the the bearded gypsy <laughs> staring at me from <laughs> underneath the veil. Uh, is it's making me hard to remember just to access those memories from. But the, look, look, look what that photo says, though, Philip. What, you know? Tell me, tell me I, what it says. I am comfortable in my fucking skin, man. Yeah, I'm so comfortable, and I'm fucking pretty too. And is that from your actual wedding night? Or is no, it no, this was um this was maybe about a year ago, I think, <laughs> that I just um I was probably taking like I don't know. I, I may have had one too many martinis before <laughs> the show. And then uh, maybe some some edibles and whatever else that yeah. may have crossed my path that evening and decided to, you know, wear that. So well, it's yeah. so Rod, Rodman esque. It's Rodman. Uh, yeah, Rodman esque. Rodman -esque. Rodman -esque. Sure. Right. Nice. It yeah. So fit me. There's, it fit there's, me a little bit better than it fit my wife, and she was a little pissed about that. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Um, nice around here, Philip. Okay. Right there. So there's like the whole volume of like every photograph ever taken. Yeah. In human history. Yeah. And your one of your top three is a selfie, right, right there, selfie of you wearing your wife's wedding dress. That's right. Okay. Yeah, I mean it's a great photo, don't you? That's wouldn't you agree? Oh no, it is. I I don't see you guys in fucking wedding dresses. No, no, it's oh, true. Totally no. top three. It's, yeah, top three, three, top three. And I took the photo, Philip. A selfie. Boom. Oh, and, and, yeah. Wow. You could barely tell it was a selfie. I know. No, oh, no. It looked like somebody took it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah a professional. Brian, Brian, was I pretty? I was wondering if it was kind of like you had a push-up bra type of thing. No, 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 no. Yeah. But it's all natural, buddy. All, all natural. right. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. I, I let it go. I let it go. There we go. All right. What, uh, Mary? Or should we go, Should we go, Brian? Which. I kind of want to say Mary for last because oh, it's going to be really again. No, don't be frozen. Don't be frozen. All right, I'm good. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> all right, we going? Yeah. Brian, I'm we're ready. ready for you to be connected to I'm us. I'm frozen. Oh, no, I am. I don't know what's You're going on. You're good. You just right. keep going, man. I'll, I'll kick you out if you don't. Which, which, which photo do you want me to share? It's number three. Okay. I don't. G give Black me a. And white. It, it's the first one that you put up, Philip. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That one, yeah. I pretty. I should have done I'm more pretty. more preparation. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, no, I should have. I should have labeled them better, but whatever. So I, I, we're is this is this what we want to look at? Yeah. Okay. Let me let me uh, zoom in a little. Can I zoom in? Sure, you can. There you go. Keep it. Yeah. Keep it coming. There. There we are. All right. Brian, is that you? You can do it. Whatever you want, man. No, is that you, Philip or Brian? <laughs> it's not here. Is he frozen? This is Brian's number three pick. Uh, there's, there's like a future member of Jersey Shore on the left. Yeah. Um, I, I don't know what else is going on here. Mary, you want to take a crack at this one here? Gemma, is that you like, holding the kid's head? <laughs> it might be. <laughs> Definitely has my body type for sure. <laughs> Mary, what's going on in this photo? What do you think? Okay. It looks like it is 
some sort of event because of the suit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm going to guess it's like a, maybe like a, a dad with a kid. Yeah. Yeah. I'm okay. getting that vibe. Yeah. Somebody's like, uh, what at that age? I mean, that, that kid's like, what, five? Yeah. Maybe it's a, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like so, so, what's like a big event for like a five year old? It's not. That, it's not the it, bar it, mitzvah. It's not it, a. I was just gonna say bar mitzvah. I think he's he's there for Jimo's wedding dress. <laughs> oh, nice, Mary. Yeah, that's right. I could be. I could be. That's right. Yeah, they could be. Sorry. They're, they're waiting to see uh, you come down the aisle, Jimo. <laughs> that's just, actually the ring boy and. The, yeah, just, uh, just sucking down a <laughs> sucking down yeah. a, a a Chesterfield. <laughs> Wait, what is he smoke? Is he? Yeah, he is smoking something. Is right. he smoking? Yeah, he's got. It looks like he's smoking something. Yeah, that's right. He's he's. Uh, yeah, he's got the. He he's got like a. Yeah, he he's got the joint extensions going. You know, yeah, he's got a long joint. Red. He's got the three fingers uh -huh. out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No. he's got the weed there. And then maybe that's his, his lady friend and is very disappointed in him. Dad's encouraging him. It's like, all right. Nice. Oh, boy. Yeah. All right. So that's Brian's. Brian. That's Brian. <laughs> we. I feel like we covered it fine yeah, for Brian, it. who is having technical <laughs> difficulties, clearly. Um, um, all right. Now, let's get into it. Yeah. All right. So, Mary, I'm just going to blow you up here. Blow me up? Okay. There we go. Whoa. So where should I start? So I wanted to share maybe some of the photos on my wall over here. So do you guys see this one? I'll walk you over here. Mm -mm -mm. I, I love the house tours, by the way. I think this is the second time we've had this, Philip, right? This so is that, great. house tour. Yeah. Yeah. That's Neil Young. That is nice. And uh, I got that poster at, uh, so Neil Young's from Canada, as you guys know, I'm sure. And there was the town that he grew up in, uh, in Northern Ontario, it's called Omimi. And there was this, um, this volunteer kind of museum that they created where it was a house and it was just all Neil Young artifacts. And, uh, and it was called Youngtown Museum. So I went there and I got that there and I've got an awesome photo of of my mom, my mom and I went and it's her outside of Youngtown and there's like this red uh, Mustang happened to be like in front of, in front of the place. And it's just, it's a cool shot, but yeah, that's, I like that one. That is yeah. nice. Cool that's incredible. I love Neil Young. Do you? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I do. I, nice. I mean, his career is so, it's, it's so diverse and nice. like, it's so long and interesting and, even though it's like a one of his commercial songs, I like every time I listen to Harvest Moon, it makes me like yeah. really happy. Like uh, it's good stuff. That's yeah, because he's kind of one of like the artists who, like artists don't really get that anymore. That kind of like range, the development where you can kind of like go through different phases, you know. Mm -hmm. so, like so, yeah. But he's he's pretty neat. Yeah, yeah he should, is. Should he's, we sing some Neil Young right now? <laughs> yeah. Can we? Can we just do like like something? Yeah, I'll just mute myself. But yeah. uh, Mary, you ready? We can do that. No, I will not be seen. Come on, no. Anybody? Brian would sing with me. He, he would. He's not he here. Would. He is but not here. It's a solo. It's the, it's yeah. your show, I bud. You're knocking on my cellar door. Tell you, baby, do you want some more? Oh, the damage done. There you go. Huh? Yeah. Just fucking like him. Right there. The needle and the damage done. That's huh? right, buddy. Yep, I know. That's it. right. It's good yeah. stuff. Nicely Thank done, you. Mary. That's very nicely curated artwork on your the wall behind your head. Yeah. Can, Mary, can we can we look outside your window? Yeah, for Just, sure. Yeah. Actually, <laughs> you guys want to see the CN Tower? Wait, how do I do this? Is your ceiling concrete? Yeah. Oh, that's, that's interesting. Not. Cool. Wait, how do I do this? Do you see? Wow, it's a beautiful. Wow, beautiful look at that. Do see... you see the scene tower? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Look at that. You're living above it all. You're wow. You're up there. So, living the dream. Did you guys want to tour? Sure. Yeah, yeah, let's, go. Yeah, let's go. Hold on. So there's it's all, all wall of windows there. Yeah. And um 
And then, yeah, so let's see. This is where I'm sitting. Turn the light on here. Hopefully it's not making you guys too. No, it's okay. Let, let's, let's put Mary back up, Philip. Yeah, I was just there we go. putting yeah. Brian on. So, the, Oh, and actually this here that you see behind me, how do I do this? That... That yeah. is actually a seat back from Massey Hall. So Massey Hall is kind of oh. our, our like famous kind of beautiful um, uh, like theater kind of. Yeah. Theater. Yeah. So a lot of like legendary, like the greatest jazz concert of all time took place there. And so it's been under renovations for three years. And so they took out all, they're restoring it and they took out all the seats. And so you could actually buy the seats from there. And so the one that I got, you got to pick the row. So I picked the last row at the top level yeah. because I thought, you know, that more of oh, the. There we go. And Sorry. then here, I'll give you some more artwork here. Oh. Yeah. So that's oh, that awesome. awesome. Yeah. You got loads. Oh, it looks like Pink Floyd right there. Yeah. Yeah. That, it looks like it actually. It does. And yeah. then, yeah, lots of. What, what is Go back to. Uh, this uh, one? Yeah. So, this one actually, this is a paint by number from the, the 70s that my mother did. Really? Your mother did yeah. that. Yeah. 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 And there's like. Reason, it's like something. For, it's a little. It's a yeah. little. This is, a um, this is actually my favorite photo. It, sorry for the shaky tour here. No, it's fine. Um, so, this is a. This is Mick Jagger. So that photo has been on my wall for Ooh. since I was like, I think 14. Wow. And um, he's playing guitar, which you never really see him do. So, yeah. yeah. Wow. That's fantastic. Thank Quite you. a gallery. Quite a gallery. You that is nice. That right, is yeah. nice. Wow. Oh, Represent man, I got to come and visit. <laughs> I, yeah. I just want to hang out there and maybe, maybe have a martini. And just look. There you at, go. <laughs> yeah, put it, put an old record on or something, and then yeah. just walk around. And you can just tell me stories about all these photos. That's nice. Yeah. That would be a nice time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. So Brian, welcome back. Um, yeah, we showed one of your photographs. It was yeah. You probably uh, were like wondering what in the world. So I, we feel like we got to the bottom of it, but we'd like to hear from you. Like, well, I found it on the internet, and it was it was taken in 2006, and it was a five year old gypsy boy, and it was taken on New Year's Eve in Saint Jacques, in the south of France, and apparently it's common for young boys to smoke cigarettes in Saint Jacques, the south of France. I personally 100 percent disagree. But I'm like, you got to be kidding me. 2006, this dude, this little dude smoking. First, I thought he was smoking a bone. And then they're like, no, it's common for them to smoke cigarettes. I'm like, this is unbelievable. This can't, yeah. be, true. can't be true. Yep, there he was. Dad letting him smoke away on New Year's Eve. There you go. There you go. There That's you like, go. Um, my parents are from Ireland, and they they have, like, gypsies there, right? And uh, the, the kids there, they were smoking, yeah, like yeah. seven years old. Yeah, I guess it's like kind of like a gypsy Thanks. thing, I think. I don't know. It's weird. Strange. If only there were someone who could speak on the subject who was an expert. <laughs> yeah, maybe. It, it, oddly enough, my dad doesn't smoke at all. That like, is he'll, he'll have one occasionally, like on a special occasion or something. You know, ask me for one. But they're, they're both my parents are very strong advocates of, of me quitting. And they've been trying to tell me for the past, I don't know, 30 years. All right, years, so right? what are we doing here? Let's get this is let's get on the uh general quit smoking campaign. <laughs> no, no I've tried tried that, man. I've, I've tried great. everything. I've tried everything for my wife, my kids. It doesn't work. You have to want to do it. Mary, are you a smoker? No. Okay, good for you. Good yeah. for you. Did yeah. yeah. you try that book? Everyone says there's a book you read and then you're done. I don't yeah. Know, so. it, I, I've I've I, known someone who uh, read the book and they, they say it works. Yeah, uh, this is the first time I'm hearing about a book. <laughs> no, it's it's supposedly, and I don't know the name of it. It's in it, it, and you you're supposed to smoke as you're reading the book, and it's for some reason I don't know if it's just something that is, is it triggers hypnotism? in your brain. Because that's the only thing I haven't tried yet is hypnotism. Could be. 
Yeah. Could be. Kind of a brainwashing thing. I mean, yeah, I read I the fucking labels. Do. You know, the, the little carton, the, the side surgeon general warning, whatever. You know, in, in Canada, Philip, they have pictures of like heart disease and whatever, I think, on the cigarettes, right, Mary? Yeah, yeah they do. Yeah. And they have like, it's, it's pretty gory. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but I, if you're into that kind of stuff, then it, it, it's like, oh, cool. You know, it's just like you think of it as art, maybe. I don't know. So I have, I have two thoughts. One, I, I would like us to get to our second round of photographs. Yeah, here we Before go. Before that, I would like to put on the record, I think we need to do a, a hypnotism episode. We, we need to do a little research on that and how we could hip, try to hypnotize okay. each other on the show. I think that's a great idea, and I just want to put it out there. I can, I, I can connect you with a hypnotist. I know one. You oh know God, one? Please. Yeah. That, hold on. No, does it work, really? Yeah. So I have a friend, and she 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 learned how to do it, and she she, she used it for like she was um she was like a high performance like trainer for sport yeah. like sports or like athletes or whatever, and uh, and so she sent me a tape of it once. So like and. It worked, like just even from a tape. Like can, not a tape. Can, can we get her on now? Pardon? Can we? Can we? Is she busy? Does she want? To? <laughs> yeah, I just <laughs> why not? I mean, she's busy. She I'll just like, sitting what, what in the room by herself. Tuesday night at nine thirty. <laughs> I can give her a shout. <laughs> you know, yeah, why her? not? Why not? Yeah, see what she's up to. If she wants oh, to yeah. come on, she's watching the Atlanta Hawks play the. Uh, she can give two shits about the Atlanta Bucks. Hawks, yeah. man. <laughs> okay. See. Yeah. Where's Brian? What's going on with Brian? I don't know. I don't know. See if she answers. Yeah. I don't yeah. Have to move Put her on the speaker. Here. Maybe I can leave her a message if she what doesn't is this answer. View? I don't like this view. I don't. I didn't do it, Philip. There we go. That's better. Oh, I like it. Yeah. Your timing is really good. Listen to what's playing on the radio. <laughs> you hear that? Is that Tom Petty? Last dance with Mary Jane. No, it's Neil Young Heart of Gold. Neil Young Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my oh, God. Oh, wow. Okay, so Sylvia, I'm on yeah. like a radio show right now, and oh. I just called you. You're you're on the air as well. Hi, hi, Sylvia. I don't know if you can hear us or not. Can I you? Can. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I was saying that you know how to hypnotize people. I do. True. Yes, I'm a trained hypnotist. So. Do so they have a couple questions for you, okay? Okay, yeah. Go ahead, right. guys. Now, Sylvia, can you can you do this over the phone, or do you do you want to join us live on on because we're it's a visual, uh, I guess, radio show if you want to call yeah. it that, like a streaming show. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you, well, I'm in a car uh, on my phone. So oh, yeah. Audio is probably best. Okay. So okay, but video. will it will it work via audio? Are you asking me if I can hypnotize you right now? Yeah, yeah. Right now? Right now. Um, I don't think she can uh, do that right okay. now. Uh, I, I could. It depends. It depends. I have to think about this. Like, okay. Do you, do you yeah. want to call Mary back then? What, once you're, you're just over. What? Uh, what? Once you get to wherever you're going to, I, I want you to be safe, first of all. So yeah. <laughs> I, I don't want you driving and talking on the phone and whatnot and trying to hypnotize somebody who... <laughs> Uh, in a different no, I'm country a from I'm just I'm just a passenger. I wouldn't I would definitely never try to hypnotize anyone while either I or they were driving. Okay. All right. Well then highly irresponsible. You, you, let let's go ahead and do it. <laughs> <laughs> let's just let's just do it. Shall we? Uh, you, do you what, need a minute? Hang on a second. Hang on a second. What, <laughs> yeah. are, what are we hypnotizing? What is the purpose of us hypnotizing? Who am I hypnotizing? So my name is Jemo, J-E-M-O. I'm, I'm an old friend of Mary. I am the host of the Icon Show. So I, I call myself Jemo the Icon, and I've got this YouTube page, which we're, we're on Twitch. And, and Ramon, what else are we on? YouTube? Hey, hey, let's yeah. not waste your time. We okay, want yeah, Jemo sorry. to quit smoking. Yeah, here we go. Yeah. Oh, okay, but that's not something I can do, you know, right? Like, that's a... Wait, if you want to quit smoking, we have to do an intake. It's, it literally takes about three or four hours. We can do it, but it takes three or four hours. Oh, well, as, so, as soon as they open up the border, I'm coming to you. Okay. Yeah, I'll <laughs> be there. It, I could do it via, I could do it via Zoom, um, but it, it that's a long session to do. It would be better to do it in person. 
Okay. Well, can I can I ask you another question then? Um, yeah. Would would is it okay? Let's say I do a session or several with you. Would it be okay to yeah. document these sessions um, via audio and video so that um, the masses here, the viewers, can can see this? Or is that something that's I, I don't frowned upon in your profession? I don't know. I don't want to step on your toes. Would it be okay if you taped it so that the viewers could? Could hear it and see it. Is that what you yeah. said? Yeah. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> right. Okay. Well, All right. So we're going to set something up here. Thanks, Sylvia. I'll talk to you soon. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Have fun. Bye bye. Hi, Sylvia. All right. So, Hi, Sylvia. We're, we're gonna, There's I your hypnotist. <laughs> oh, my I'll God, Mary, hypnotized. you delivered. You, <laughs> you, you delivered. That was impressive. <laughs> mm. Good stuff. And so now we have a three hour <laughs> demo, like being hypnotized to quit smoking, next, things next to look forward to. Yeah. So, that's oh my God. That, that's good. All right. So, I'm going to put us back on the trail. Please uh, do. We're talking about photography. Have we have we gotten everybody? Brian talked about his photo mm -hmm. with the, the smoking Italian children. Yeah. I'm getting to the comments here. I'm sorry, Blake. Hello, Australia. Everybody else. Mm -hmm. All right. Where where where'd uh, Brian go? Nobody knows. <laughs> no, nobody knows. What happened? No, I'm here. I, I, no, I had the I had the I had to switch locations, guys. Brian, that's a nice shirt you got. Yeah, Viridian Global. Yeah, Viridian nice. Global. Philip, where's your shirt? I'm wearing the. Yeah. No, he's Dwight, got his uniform. Dwight Schrute. Okay. That's, that's his thing. That's All right. his thing. All right, Mary, we have to send you a couple of things. So yeah, I would love that. I'll get your address from you uh, at, at some point after this. All right, Philip, are you up or am I up? I think doing? I'm up. Okay. I'm trying to get my thing ready in, in preparation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, all right, let's go. This is uh, this is different than what I did before. Um. <laughs> this <laughs> is a picture of Guy Fieri <laughs> with Sammy Hagar, the vocalist of Van Halen. Nice. Um, I saw these two guys live on Guy's TV show, and I just lost my fucking mind. And I had to, I had to like take a screenshot of it. They're. They're like exactly the same height. Look, look at them, uh, and look at they're just like staring at meat. Like I don't know, what are they gonna make? Some nachos? Are they gonna make like a? It's gonna be like a nachos, but trash can nachos. It's always like or like garbage can, or it's just like bucket bucket food. <laughs> like to, uh, I love that Sam Hagar and Guy Fieri are friends. And are just like in there. They got their fat fucking fingers in the food there together, <laughs> just like making some shit. This made me really happy. This is not high art. This is not like good photography, but this is an amazing <laughs> photograph to me. I love this. And that's uh, that's my second photograph. So that's pretty interesting. Now, now uh, Sammy Hagar looked like maybe. It, they look like brothers or maybe twins, but just yes, like exactly. a younger version and older version. Like you're looking at yourself 20 years from now, maybe. Yeah. Maybe 10. Yeah. He looked like the big Lebowski. At first, I he thought did. that's what it was. <laughs> yeah. He did. Yeah. And you know what? People give Guy Fieri a lot of shit because he's like so douchey with the spiked hair and Flavor Town and whatever. I'm a fan. No, I'm, a I'm a fan. I'm a fan. That guy's out there. He's generating money for small businesses. He's he's going to these places and being like a fan of their food. And like because of him, people they they show up and they take money out of their pockets and they uh, they give them to these businesses. So I, yeah, he's douchey, but uh, he's doing good work and uh, <laughs> and he's also ridiculous. That photo could be captioned. You might as well brunch. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Oh boy. Yeah. The, uh, do you brunch at all? Do you like to brunch? No, no. I'm not a brunch person. I'm to keep myself. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not either. 
Yeah, hate the brunch. And, and the brunch crowd, you know, if you've ever worked in an establishment like as, as a restaurant or, or something in food, I just, uh, the brunch crowd is horrible. They're the worst, the worst people. Hate the brunch people. Well, that was like, like I, I don't cook or anything. So um, one time my friend came over and she was like, Mary, the only thing in your fridge is like, a, it's like a giant like paper clip. Like, I don't even know what was in there. And so I've just on purpose kept it in my fridge this whole time so that anytime she comes over, I'm like, would you like something to eat? Wow. <laughs> wow. What, what do you guys like to eat? I I love tacos. I love pizza. I, I love all the bad <laughs> shit. I mean, that that's what I live off of is tacos, yeah. pizza, really. The, here in Boston, there's not, like, a good place to get tacos, though. You'd have to go into Providence, which I'm actually a little bit closer to. Yeah, there's no taco places. No, there. not I mean unless yeah, Taco Bell is like nah, yeah, that's no, that's not even tacos. It's not it, it's McDonald's really. So what's yeah. your next photo, Jamma? What's that? What's your next photo? Oh yeah, here we go. Here we go. All right. So I think I have it queued up here. Is that number two? I do have an honorable mention, actually. I want to squeeze this one in and then I'm gonna go into my number two. Is that okay? Yeah, do the honorable mention. Yeah. No rules here. No rules. All right. So this one, I don't know who oh, took this yeah. photo, right? Um, and we've had Zia, who, who's a good friend of ours, on on this show uh, for, I think, for our one-year anniversary. Right, Philip? Yes. Yeah. But this photo here, um, it just, it, you see the joy and the happiness and, and just the zone that she's in. You know what I mean? With, with just feeling the crowd and it looks like she may it may be an outdoor show with the hair kind of blowing a little bit or there was a fan there or something but yeah that photo it's it's it speaks a lot it says a lot you know what i mean it says a lot just just about here we are we're we're <laughs> we're here we're relaxing we're having a good time it's uh you know she she's doing her thing on stage i'm sure and and, and just uh, you know giving the crowd something to to dance to her love her. So, yeah. No, that is a great photo. When I, when, he, when we had her on the show and I was going back and doing some research and grabbing some photos, I saw that one. And it was it was great because, I mean, the way the hair was blowing and yeah. ang she, she it looked a great photo of her. And, and yeah. playing on the keyboard, yeah, it was great. That was a good photo. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I agree with Brian. I like it. It's right. a uh, – I. It's a more professional photo than the selfie of you wearing your wife's wedding dress, which is just creepy and weird. And was a weird place to start. Was it? Was it a weird place? Well, I think you might find this a little more weird than Philip. All right. This is okay. number two. Oh the icon God. boxer briefs. Um, yours, yours truly is the model for uh, the boxer briefs right there. And you can find those at ViridianGlobal.com. Um, actually, a Canada-based uh, company in Toronto, Mary. Really? Viridian. Yeah. 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 Great guys, Mark and Will. Uh, I think we're going to have both those guys on the show uh, in, in a few weeks, actually. Will oh, on cool. spelling the uh, championship that we did a few weeks back. But, yeah, there it is, all in its glory. Wow. That's, that's that, an interesting Philip? photo. Yeah. Like, you see that? Do you see those legs, Philip? They're like, they're like Clydesdales. I. <laughs> this is like a uh, fucking gazelle. This is a physical I specimen in front of us. A gazelle. Yeah. No. Yeah. Like. Is I'm, someone I'm just going to go leave this and... up here, Philip? The whole show. Yeah, no, I like this. <laughs> this is good. This is good. That should be your new backdrop. <laughs> yes. I'll put that on some some hats and t-shirts. Maybe I think that'll. that'll I I think well. Mary's got a little space on her wall above her right shoulder, and uh, yeah, exactly. That's where it's gonna go. Yeah. All Perfect. right, Mary. I, I, you know, I'm known to to sign eight by ten glossy photos of myself and send them out to random people. Sometimes I you're mean eight by ten saucy photos. <laughs> okay. All right. I have several different ones. So, I, I, in in addition to whatever else I'm sending, what am I sending her, Philip? Again? Oh, t-shirts and shit. Yeah, yeah, she yeah. needs to. Yeah. We're going to 8x10 and, and all that other stuff. And I will still be waiting for the lighter that I've been asking for for 20 plus years. Okay. Yes. Oh, the lighter. Okay. The lighter. We're back to lighter. Yeah, so the boxer briefs, Philip. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So which which one of those photos was your actual pick? 
I had the honorable mention, as I mentioned before. Right. What? No. So yeah. which one's honorable mention? Which one's the pick? Uh, Zia is the honorable mention. Number two is the boxer brief. So Zia does not match up to the picture I mean, it's a, it's of you look. with the marble on, but, in your underwear. Do I need to pull this up again? <laughs> no, <laughs> I think me? you do. I think I think you, you do. Should I? I think you have to. Just so we can <laughs> discuss once more. Oh, yeah, buddy. because oh, you're go. saying that <laughs> Zia McCabe of the yeah. Vandy Warhols mm -hmm. was an honorable mention, and she <laughs> lost out to this picture of your junk scrunched up in this uh, Folks, icon uh, boxer brief. <laughs> and, and it's not it's not photoshopped or anything. It's it, that's it. No, yeah. I, no, it's clearly it not photoshopped. And also. It's one of those rare photos that has like a scent. scent. <laughs> it smells so good. I mean, you want to taste it, Philip. Come on. <laughs> no, that Come is again. not what I was saying. That is not All what right, I was sorry, saying. Buddy. Okay. But no, it's a fine photo. Look, there's I, I'm not a hairy guy, right? That's a plus. <laughs> I don't shave. You know, I might, I might do a little trick aye, aye. here and there, whatever. But I mean, who doesn't nowadays? Maybe you do, maybe you don't. Whatever. You know, to each his own. But I mean... Those legs again, Philip. <laughs> you, you look legs like for days, a young Burt Lancaster. <laughs> <laughs> legs for days, my friend. I could be a leg model if I wanted to, Philip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A leg All model. All right, let's move right. on. Well, let's move on, please. Okay. Brian, I, I, I see you're the other ready. ones I have coming up. Oh, yeah. You should other see ones? You got one left, buddy. One. <laughs> Wait till you see my number one. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'm going right. to apologize to Mary right away for my number one. So. Oh, that's, yeah. But it's, the, no, I have to do it. But okay, so uh, where are we at? Um, I think, is Mary next? I think it's you, Brian. Yeah. All right, okay. It's a it's a black and white photo, so. Um, got it, got it, got it. Hold sports on. related. You've all seen it. I'm almost there. Hold on. This is really small. Let me let me zoom in. Yeah. So that everybody's seen it. Bobby Orr. Mm. Yep. Oh yeah. You see, Hockey Canada, right? Yeah. And he's from Canada too. Yeah. Uh, Bobby Orr scoring the winning goal in a 1970 World Cup. Uh, Russia. The Stanley Cup against the St. Louis Blues. And he was tripped by the defenseman of the St. Louis Blues right after he scored the goal. And that's him diving. It's like every sports bar in Boston has that photo somewhere nailed to a wall. And that's like, and there's a lot of stories to the photo. Supposedly the guy who took the photo um, was in they had press seats. Well, they didn't have seats. They were sitting on like bar stools. Like this was back in the seventies. So of course now it's different. And a cameraman got up, left his post to go get a beer at the concession stand. And the guy who took that photo was like, all right, well, I'll just take a seat. And a minute into the overtime, it was overtime game. A minute into overtime, Bobby Orr scored the goal, and he got the photo. He looked back, and the guy's sitting there with his beer, and he's like, I just, like, missed out on fame and fortune right now for this Budweiser that I just got. So that's yeah. a sidebar to that story. Nice. That's cool. I like that photo. Yeah, you've, see, you've seen that photo, right, Mary? I don't think I have, actually. Oh, okay, because I'm figuring they, Yeah. Out I mean, everybody in Boston's seen it. And, and mm -hmm. um, I'm sure you, Philip. Growing up in Chicago, probably seen that. Song. I've I've seen this photo, but it's it's good to hear the story behind it. Yeah, well, um, interesting story. My my the the kitchen chairs in my family home since I was a kid, they're the old uh, chairs from the press box at Maple Leaf Gardens, and uh, they were bright blue, and they had a maple leaf on them, oh. and. Um, yeah, so those are those are the chairs. And then my mom's that's so awesome. Yeah, my mom stripped them, refinished them, but kept some of the blue underneath. Oh, you got to keep the blue. Did you keep the the maple leaf logo too? Or? No, just on the underneath part. Oh, okay, all right. Well, at least yeah. you can show people. Like, look, it's really yeah. from 
Are you a big hockey fan? Uh, a little bit, yeah. yeah. More more football than hockey, but but that like back in the seventies, the Bruins and Bobby O was one of my favorites back when I was growing up. So, but that photo, the photo is just great. I mean, if you lived in Boston, that's the photo. Yeah, cool. Nice. Thanks, Brian. I've I've seen this photo. Of course you have. Yeah. Lots of bars. all right, Mary. I don't I don't know if you're gonna. Take us to a different part of your uh, <laughs> your home. Uh, do you do you have I'll, something I'll else to say one. about I just, I just photography? Of, I just thought of the, this one. Okay, I don't know if you can see this. Oh yeah, we can oh, see yeah. it. There you go. Hold on, hold on. That's me, but not, like wearing the dinosaur junior shirt. <laughs> yeah. Move, move Are you it. Smoking a butt or a bone. Move, move it over, Mary. Oh yeah, no, I mean, it's like I mean that it's like um. Because I kind of look like the girl in the uh, from Green Mind, I thought, right? Yeah, totally, totally. Yeah. Anyways, now I, where was where was that photo taken? Was it? Um, was it well, actually, I went. My friend in Toronto, he he has like a house where musicians play, and I saw Dinosaur Junior there, and so I uh, I wore the shirt, and so I think that's from that day. Wow. That's actually Dinosaur Junior is going to be the first live concert that I see uh, since COVID ends. Like no when shit. Yeah. Very nice. In, uh, September. Yeah. Gemmo has a question. I do have a question. Sure. Uh, Mary, at this concert that you're going to see, uh, D Dinosaur Junior, mm -hmm. are they doing the social distancing um, seating? I guess or standing, whatever. Or is I it just it's fully work. open? Like to be honest, like I think that. Because in America you now, you guys like it's social distance still, or is it? No, actually, it's not. Because Springsteen just opened Broadway, didn't he? The other day, everyone was sitting next to each other. I don't, I don't know. I haven't been to a show yet. Well, there there haven't been any shows that I, I I just oblivious sometimes. I'm waiting for particular artists to come here. Who? Well, Sam, of course. Oh. Yeah. Um, maybe you'll come. I was in Boston last. Right last year, I guess, before COVID. My friend was in a band called um, City in Color. Okay. They played a um, nice theater there. But Canada yeah. right now still has restrictions, right? You can't come into the United States yet. I'm hoping to go in a couple of weeks. Oh, it was that soon for you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. nice. Okay, yeah. good. Very nice. Um, but... Like I'm fully vaccinated, but I, I don't even know. It's like it's just. A, well, if you fully see, that's just it. Like, all right, yeah. so you're fully vaccinated. You're just like us, so you should be able to travel like just like we can. But it's your. Yeah, you you never know with this thing. I mean, there, there's a whole new. I mean, we we can have a whole other show right now. <laughs> well, we're talking about uh, you know this new strain that's out or whatever, and you know there have been I think numerous strains that have been out and they caught it. Fairly, whoever it is, they caught yeah. it fairly quickly. Which is that. why people tune into the Gemo show. That's for right. In, <laughs> updates on uh, public health. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Indeed. Indeed, they do. Thank you, Philip. You're Thank on you. All right. Who's, uh, who's up now? Public health, Philip. I just showed you a photo of a six year old smoking. Like, come on. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> Coming to this show for health advice. Well, yeah, don't yeah, let your six-year-old smoke. Better, That's all. You better, you better pick out your uh, coffin now, man. Yeah. Yeah. So we're on our last round, um, which means I have to decide what my last photo is. And I'll, I'll be honest, I got a couple I have to choose from. You you can uh, do an honorable mention if you'd like, Philip. I'm going to. I'm going to okay. go with my first pick first. And then no, I'll, do the honorable mention. Leave, leave my, the grand finale for last. All right. My, my honorable mention is coming up here in a second uh, when I learn how to share the screen with the thing. There we go. This is my honorable mention. Oh. This is a photograph um, from 1947 yeah. by the master Stanley Kubrick, mm. who... Uh, turned out to be a filmmaker who made yes. The Shining. He made A Clockwork Orange. He made uh, Full Metal Jacket. Uh, um, but this is uh, 
from before his filmmaking career when he uh is that Catherine Hepburn? It is a model with a New York a New Yorker uh cartoonist. His name was Peter Arno, who was like a notable womanizer and like man about town, but like very successful with the New Yorker. He's wearing a tuxedo. He's just at a bar. I thought I thought this photograph was so friggin' funny. Like the body language. <laughs> these people from like the 40s pressing their heads against each other, smoking cigarettes, like drinking like whatever they're drinking. It looks like there. a port got, wine, maybe. Yeah, like a port. Like yeah. uh the cigarettes are on the bar, but they're like still composing them. And it's a soft pack, Philip. You don't see too many of those nowadays. No. no. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And well, smoking in a public area. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, yeah. I, I just I, I found this thing like so compelling. I just staring at it and knowing that it was photographed by like the master Stanley Kubrick who made yeah. the, the Clockwork Orange and the Shining. Yeah, great movie. movies, shit yeah. movies. Um, like before he started his career. So that was my honorable mention. Great honorable mention. Nice. Can, Philip, I, I'm liking him. Can yeah, I, okay, um, okay, yeah, okay. That was great. And can, can I, can I, um, that prompted me to think of one of my favorite photos, if you don't mind me sharing this. Oh, go in. But, um, it's, it's Steve McQueen and his first wife. Uh, I don't know if you can see this. You know, I'm going to try to search for it in, in a mud bath. And it reminds me, it, that kind of reminded me of it. It's like a beautiful black and white. Uh, I have it, I have it framed. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll text it to you, Gemma. But it's really cool. Yeah. Remind me of that. I think I, I th actually I think I found it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry. Wait, these are like fakes. I think that's it. <laughs> it's like people doing it, you know. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, other like reenacting it, I guess. But I found one. I found. One. Here we go. Here we go. Philip, I'm getting good at this. You say that. That is, that is correct. Every time. There we go. Oh my goodness. Oh, there they are. Yeah. Is that it? Yeah. 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 Can I enlarge it? Yeah. Click on one of them and allow. Oh, there it is, right there on the right. Yeah. Where on the right? Oh. Well, okay. All right. All right. Oh, that's not the one. Click on the um, this top, second from the top left. Second from the so top, top row, uh, top left to like this know. one. I think it's the middle one. She's, the, I think, right here. That one, yeah, yeah. Nick. They're standing up, but it, it is a nice photo, regardless. Yeah, <laughs> okay. yeah. what well, something's Let's... not connecting here. I'm, I'm not connected. Philip, am I connected? Philip. What happened here, Gemma? Okay, <laughs> we do? we we do not see Mary's uh, vision. No, Philip. Yeah. Okay. So what happened? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what happened. All right. Well, that's her honorable mention, right? Or is that yours? Whose was that? No, that was just like a her, random. Oh yeah, just her, a poppin. Yeah, yeah poppin. Do just a poppin. Any more poppins? Do we have any more? Mary, can I? Can I, I actually want to ask everybody this. Um, I'm really curious to see how everybody has their toilet paper. Is it the front way or the back way? Oh, it's this front. way. Front. Yeah. Front. Yeah. yeah. Brian. Thank you, Mary. Yeah. No, mine's not even on the. <laughs> it's just there. It's, a, it's just there. Okay. <laughs> he just has a roll on the back of the. Uh, yeah, I just the yeah. tank. So, the reason I ask is because um we, we have a, a I love our house guest sometimes um <laughs> she's a wonderful woman but she, she will go ahead and and flip the toilet paper. No, yeah, why way. would you flip? Wait, it throws paper. me off every fucking time, man. What? Every time. No, but why do it that under, way? Though. It's got to be under. I don't like it over. You, oh, it's it's over, I, I guess. Like right? If it's over, see, under it would there be 
it would like unroll quicker. So you'd have, right? So over, I don't know. I, I can control it better <laughs> over than I can under. You know, I get my distribution of toilet papers, <laughs> you know, single sheets, fold them, done. Yeah. Under is like, uh, it's a mystery. It's coming from below. <laughs> it's like hiding yeah. something. It's shitty. That, that's it's no it's a little more complex, Philip. No, I don't, I don't like, like it. I do not like under. I well, prefer yeah. over. Now, you Jesus. brought up a very, you brought up a very good point because <laughs> public, public restrooms do it under mm -hmm. and they a have demo. they have those ones that hold like three of them in a carousel yeah yeah and and you gotta and it's at my establishment so sorry for calling it out but when you know duty calls i run in and i check it first because Sometimes you can't grab the paper. Well, no, and you Those have half your are... arm like sticking up the fucking thing yeah. where it's locked. It's like gold. You're stealing gold. It's fucking toilet so you gotta, paper. Like, I mean, before before you sit down, like, and you look over, you're like, oh my god, I can't get in there. Right. I can't right. get out. So you have to do a proper and cleaning then, of it before sitting down. Pull it, and it's like you get like the one tissue, and you're like, and then it gets stuck, and you're like, yeah. you panic. And then I think that this could really. uh Ryan Phillips gears here. It's like one ply. Oh, it's you know? yeah, yeah. oh yeah. Oh yeah. One ply. Well, well, I use one ply at the house, but the one ply. <laughs> What's yeah. wrong with you people? <laughs> I, with you, you are in control of how many plies you have. You, no, you no, hold it two, three one times. Ply. You're you three plies. So much of the one ply. Oh, if I, Philip, if I ever come to your house and I need to use the bathroom, no, you have coming, an ample no. amount of toilet papers just so I can. Properly well, cleanse myself. I, I don't want to hear before. that you like fucked up like the New York City plumbing system because <laughs> you were shoveling down. Listen, like, and and nine Philip, pies. I, Philip, you you used to use this before. I don't know if you still do, but the wipes. Mm -hmm. The wipes come in so handy, man. They're it, it's clean, it's effective. It's, yeah. The fatberg. You heard about the fatberg. There you go. You exactly. see? You see? Yeah, Mary knows. And, and then you end up with like a minty scent down there. No, they, they, what happened in, in London, England, people were doing that and they it blocked the whole city. It was, they, they called it a fatberg. Because oh. they all, they, it, Google it, it's true. It, like they, they block up the whole series system. Yeah, you can. And they named it the fatberg. Okay. <laughs> they do. <laughs> oh, that's good. Bad. That's unfortunate. Also, that would suck. That, like, what do you do? You know, what can you do? Yeah, indeed. indeed. Did you know? Did you know I was this close to buying a fucking cat today? What? Oh, yeah. I'm glad you didn't. I'm what allergic to, to seafood. Find them for free? Yeah, it was just well. So I, I can't eat like shellfish. I guess I'm allergic to that. I had a bad we went reaction over to this. it. I think yeah. You, you no shellfish, I can't. I can't. It, it's the other seafood, I guess I can, but I don't. Um, so cats, I'm allergic to, but I guess there's there's a cat called the Russian blue, and I, and I did a little research on this. The Russian blues are are, are kind of short hairs, and they have something on their skin that it doesn't make me sneeze as much, I guess. But I, I still would sneeze. We have a mouse in the house, Philip. <gasps> yeah. <gasps> What? A mouse in the house. No. He's been, and it's only one, and he's been here for a good year, maybe. You know, oh, and I haven't there's noticed. There's never just one. There's never just one. No, 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 no. This this little pudgy fucker, I know him. His name is Henry. <laughs> <laughs> he's got All right. Now. So uh, maybe six to eight months ago or, or so, I was I was heavily under the influence of something, and, and I was sitting down, like, playing video games or watching TV, very late night, like three o'clock in the morning or something. I I swore up and down that I saw something run across by the door under like the space heater or whatever, you know? So I tell my wife in the morning, I'm like, look, I saw this fucking thing. I think it's a possum, maybe. It looked very large. You know, I'm like, what the fuck is that? She's like, No, you, you were you were just fucked up. I was like, All right, whatever. Well, little would, by little. Why would you go to possum first? Like that's that's weird. I don't know. It just came out. It but it, it looked. It, it, he's a fat little son of a bitch, you know. Yeah. Okay. He's he's a good eater. So 
a lot of snacks in the house. So I yeah, I mean, <laughs> shit, man, shit. So little things that I that I picked up on, and I picked up on more so now than I did when you know when I thought about it more. Like, what the fuck is all this little black stuff on the floor? You know, I'm thinking maybe it's the kids, and I'm cleaning up after them. And it's constantly just you know you you clean up one section of the house. You turn around and it's completely destroyed again because you're trying to clean the other side of the house. So you don't think of it. Maybe it's chocolate. Maybe it's this, and you're just trying to clean it up very quickly. But um, my wife then saw something like scurry around, and I was like, "Fuck! I just told you." I was like, "Remember that time that I said I saw something run across the thing?" And she didn't believe me. And here we are today. Uh, she found mouse droppings. In the corner and uh the guys came in today and they they sealed up some stuff apparently there was two mouse holes in our closet that goes really like deep so there's like the old kind with like little like, yeah 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 exactly exactly I, I i would take you in there like you <laughs> took us but i would have to disassemble so much shit here. <laughs> it's, yeah so that's it so we have a mouse in the house so i thought of getting a cat and my wife was totally against it. She wants dogs or another kid. I'm like, all right, it's going to be one or the other. I'm like, fuck it. Let's just get a cat and be done with it. My kids were all excited for it. They obviously forgot about it the next day because I, I told them about it. But this close. This what, would close you, what, what, would you name oh, what would you name the cat? Uh, Philip. Oh, no, <laughs> that's would. not good. That's I not would good. name the cat Philip. <laughs> Definitely. Even if it was a woman or a female cat. Sorry. Or a binary cat. If you will, you never know these days, Philip. No, Every, you don't know. Everybody cats. is equal. Everybody is, is great. <laughs> oh, you have to meet the cats where they are on their journey. So, like, yeah. I understand that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, honestly, if I I do want a Chihuahua, I had a Chihuahua before, but if I get another Chihuahua, it would be Martini. Oh, yeah. that's a good name for okay. it. Yeah. 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 My wife wants like a really big dog, like a Marmaduke kind of guy. I kind of like that because it's it's a play on words. You have your martini. Yeah. 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 There you go. There you go. Okay. That's all, all right. right. Sorry for distracting the show. No, it's yeah, it's, uh, it's called the demo show. So you do. That's dope. You do that's you, buddy. Philip, I'm getting drunk. <laughs> okay. So I, I've done my honorable mention. I'm going to go into my last yeah. photograph now. Um <laughs> <laughs> Buckle up. Here it is. My last photograph. Here we go. Y'all see that? Oh, this oh, is golden. Great. Wow. This is a photograph by, that wins. you guys may have heard of her, Vivian Mayer. Mm. She was a Chicagoan, uh, which is where I'm from. Gemma is from. Mm -hmm. uh, and through the 40s, 50s, 60s, and 70s, she was taking photographs of Chicagoans while being a nanny. Was she the one they found that they found it in her house? That, yes. That they made they, a movie about that, right? right? Yes. Exactly yes. right, Mary. Really cool. Mary came with an A game today. Yes. Maybe. Yes, Mary. She yeah. is a phenomenally ta talented photographer mm -hmm. and uh, they found this treasure trove of Great. her photographs that she wasn't sharing with anybody and most of them are black and white but this one's in color and I thought the color was so fucking striking in this photograph it that I, like I, I couldn't I couldn't avoid it and I odds like right? Yeah, so this is like Chicago, 1976, uh, and I have no idea what's going on, but like this, yeah, like I, I wanted to represent Vivian Meyer, mm -hmm. and uh, this That's one such, really, such really a spoke beautiful to photo, man. Beautiful. I love it. I love. I love the color, the orange. That's orange, right? I'm... Orange, yellow. Yeah, yeah. somewhere yeah. in between, right? Love that. Love that. And to see that, like, and look at the cars. It, it looks like um. Let's try and name the car. That's El definitely. Dorado? Uh, is it a Pontiac? Maybe. Maybe. Mm -hmm. But no, notice there's a station wagon behind behind the uh, slender oh, okay. man with the white tee and and orange yellow shorts. Um, that's beautiful. Yeah. Um, speaking of cars, so I'll I'll show you guys this one second. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, look at the garbage can, Philip. 
Yeah. Remember that one? I remember that garbage can. Yeah. Can, exactly. you, see can you see this? Yeah. Okay. Let's let's bring. Yep. Yeah, hold on. Let me. Yeah, you got it. Yeah. There we go. Oh, yep. that's the a Mustang. Mustang. But get yeah. this. So, uh, like a friend of mine wrote a, a song called um, "Like Glass Mustang" or whatever. And so I was like, oh. And so I googled it. I was like, what's that? And then look. It, oh. It's cologne. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> like from the actual, woo, from the actual, uh, let's see. It's an, it's Avon Spicy Aftershave. Isn't that wild? Wow. Um, yeah. Aftershave, huh? Actually, it doesn't smell, it smells just like, it smells like an old man. But. Yeah. <laughs> it's an old guy. <laughs> who, who uses aftershave still? Anybody? No. I don't think anyone does. Mm -mm. <laughs> All right. All right. What's going on here? That's my last pick. I yeah, what's this? Gun. Every guy has a text message with Barry. Oh, God, if you're watching, you know who Barry is because you're yeah. getting those text messages still. So the bottom half of Gemmo's. <laughs> Icon underwear would, you know, I get the top half. But that's that's Barry. He's the meme. He's the joke of every guy. And it's always like him in a Santa hat, him doing this, uh, him at the, you know, um, uh, January 6th riots. I mean, whatever, whatever current event, they throw Barry in on that. And it's like, I mean, back in the day when we had the, we had to wear masks. And you could custom mask. I saw on Instagram this one guy had Barry. I'm like, oh, this is just out of control. That's Barry. I wonder. <laughs> I wonder if that's Barry's actual thing. What what kind of tattoo did Barry have? It looked like almost like the Monster Energy drink logo. <laughs> I'm glad that you noticed that, Mary. Thank you. <laughs> I didn't. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what what did he have on there, Brian? Yeah, uh, I, 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 I mean, <laughs> the rest of them is very disturbing. I never noticed the tattoos, so yeah, 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 yeah. But, and he, he's um, we always joke about it. He's deceased now. Is he? Yeah, yeah. Supposedly he died, but uh, how? He did. he did. He definitely did. But I mean, I don't know if his family's <laughs> getting money off this because he's all over the internet. Everybody. You've gotten text messages with him before. Yeah, right? I, I have, and it was, yeah. Yeah, it's 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 laughable, and it's like okay, but now, yeah. how did he die? Is what I'm. I don't know. About. I should look into that, but yeah. yeah, he died. That's pretty sad. It's pretty it's, sad. And yeah. He he would have been filthy rich right now if he was alive. That's what I'm saying. Mm, maybe I guess if you're I if you're, I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe maybe. Okay. So Brian, Brian, I just want to say. I was on the phone with Gemmo earlier this evening. Yeah. And I said, uh, I asked him, uh, Brian's photos, how many of them are like personal photos? How many of them are like stuff from like the world? And he he didn't know. <laughs> I said, <laughs> and let's correct that. So, so I said, so one, he, one out of the three. <laughs> sure. He it's, thought it's his own personal. <laughs> He thought there was a chance you took a photo of Barry. <laughs> I know. Maybe. <laughs> or you talk of you took a photo of those those Italian kids smoking cigarettes. <laughs> Cause obviously he didn't think you took a photo of like the nineteen seventy eight like hockey game. No. No. Well that's what um, I, I thought they were like I, I don't know. I mean I didn't know there were photos that, like, well, there was no rules, so it could have been. There's, a, there's right. never any rules here. Man. Right, so it could have been a photo we could have took, but I, <laughs> I, I looked at, like, the greatest photos of all time. <laughs> I mean, Bobby yours got to be, but when we were thinking about this over the weekend, and I was like, I'm like, no way. I go, I'm putting Barry in there. Oh, Barry goodness. in there. Because... Uh, sorry, Mary. I'm, I'm, uh, no, but I'm just kind of wondering if we if we can maybe Photoshop them all together into one photo. <laughs> yes, yes, I will definitely. I will do that. I'll definitely. No. I, actually, no, Brian, you can do that. Yeah, you know, you're good with we'll that do, shit. We'll do. 
<laughs> put Barry's head on Bobby yeah. Law smoking a cigarette, scoring a goal. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's good. <laughs> I'll make the, maybe I'll make the kid the little goalie. Like even though yeah. he'll be smoking a <laughs> <Something. goalie. laughs> All right. So what we're sending, Mary. Now, <laughs> Mary, you keep. We'll we'll hmm. keep adding to your order here. You you're getting some some a shirt or two or whatever. Uh, what was the other thing? What Signed are we sending? A sign. Oh yeah, the eight by ten. Um, go up on her wall there, Brian. When you do your your uh, collage of our photos this evening, uh, we'll send her another. Maybe we'll send her a huge picture, a huge picture of it, the collage. Yeah. Okay. All right. I, I, I like the bottom. It's good. Yeah. All right. So we've Here gotten we go. through. Uh, Gemmo and Mary, have we gotten your? Last picks. I'm trying to I believe we have. No, I, I I've got. I'm ready for my two. I don't know if Mar Mar did Mary go. You got two more. Well, I have. I've got one, but another honorable. You go. You go. No, no, you go. You I go. I feel like I'm. Um, I mean, I've got. What do you have a guess? You're right. Guess. Okay. Come on. I mean. Um... She's looking around at the artwork <laughs> in her beautiful. Oh, can we, can we, you, you know, can we see how you write? Do you have anything that you've written down? Sure. Yeah. Oh. You can. You know what, Philip? You can tell a lot by uh, from a person on how on their penmanship. Okay. Oh, so that's that, nice. That is very nice. That. What does that say? Well, it looks like all I want is a good time. <laughs> I don't have time. Yeah. Very yeah. nice. Nice. Yeah, nice handwriting. That that is nice. Yeah, you do the cursive. Um, kind of. Oh. Yeah. 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 Actually, uh, my handwriting looks nothing like this. I did this, but it, my actual hand, handwriting. Okay. Like it, it is nice, though. It is nice. You should see Philip's handwriting. He writes like a serial killer. Okay. So yeah. you cut out all the letters from newspapers. <laughs> no, I look more like an alcoholic, like seven-year-old. Uh, so oh. interpret that as you will. Yeah, yeah. All right, Philip, am I gone? I would like you to. All right, I've got so I've got an honorable mention once more, and then I'll go into my my final photo of the night. So the honorable mention will have to go to uh, my buddy Mike Durbin. Who took this photograph of Ruck LaRue, which is uh, a fine band out of the Chicago land area? Uh, right here is Joel Pasha, the drummer of Ruck LaRue. Uh, I believe currently housed at the uh, Department of Corrections in Illinois, someplace. Uh, this here, if you can see, can you see that, Philip? What, uh, if you're interacting with the image, it in any way, we cannot see that. Okay, well, I have a little arrow. Do you see the arrow? No. Oh. Okay. So the guy facing, like the first guy you see is Joel, little Asian guy. Like on the left? My right. <laughs> what? What is your right? The guy closest to us. The guy in the white shirt. Sure, uh, yes. The, the guy, guy in the white, white shirt, shirt closest to the camera. <laughs> yeah, that's so right. So the furthest right. right on the image, yeah. right? So that's Joel Pasha, drummer extraordinaire. Philip, you are the be one of the best drummers in the world, if I may say. Joel was that damn good too, though. He was very good. He very was good. probably better than me. I was not. Philip, you're drummer. a drummer. Oh, Philip drums. Philip, what? Philip has a band. Nice. Philip. Who's, who's Philip's favorite drummer? Uh, oh, Jiminy Christmas. Uh, the guy from Jawbreaker. Uh, Adam Faller from Jawbreaker. Yeah. Okay. Crickets. Yeah. I'm, I'm used to it. <laughs> All right. So that's Joel Pasha. He's currently uh, housed at the Department of Corrections in Illinois uh, for whatever else he's done. The guy next to him uh, with the kind of poofyish hair with the white shirt is Jimmy Giannopoulos, uh, guitar player extraordinaire. <laughs> That's Current, hilarious. Yeah. He's like now like Hollywood filmmaker. Oh, yeah. I mean, he looks he, like 
He has... looks like somebody from Welcome Back, Cotter <laughs> in this photo. <laughs> so Jimmy, Jimmy just released a, a actual full length feature film, like that you can you can um, stream it. You can go to the movie theater and watch it. It's birthday like badass. Cake, right? The birthday cake. That's right. That's right, Mary. Yeah. So the birthday cake. Star-studded cast, Ewan McGregor's in it, Val Kilmer's in it, so many other people, Clara McGregor, uh, Ewan McGregor's daughter. Um, again, a great, great movie. Definitely check it out. Uh, so that's Jimmy right there. So that's what he's up to. Uh, the guy next to Jimmy is me. Wow. Yeah. You look like uh, something from Return of the Jedi. <laughs> <laughs> that jacket I miss that jacket. That was an old Radisson Hotel purple this is a hotel great jacket. Photo. Return, of the <laughs> Return of the Gemini. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a that's a great. Yeah, I love that. Actually, Return of the Gemini. I, okay, so that <laughs> jacket was an old Radisson Hotel purple hotel jacket from Lincolnwood, Illinois, and I used to be the van driver, and I picked up Mexicana Airlines back and forth from the hotel to to O'Hare Airport. Man, do I have stories. Speaking of Van. Yeah. <laughs> That's going to make a Van Halen joke. <laughs> Brian likes the Van Halen. I like Van Halen, yeah. Obviously, yeah. Uh, who's the guy? Who's the last dude? Oh, so that's Tom. Tom that's Jimmy's cousin, actually. Tom is... Um, Tom's like a... What is he? I guess he works like a nine to five. Lives in the suburbs. Got he's got a couple of kids, family. Very low profile. Um, super super fucking nice guy. Um, How's Billy doing? Billy's great. He's yeah. great. I actually I was supposed to. Uh, this was your surprise tonight, Mary. Yeah. I was supposed to have Billy on the show this evening. Um, Billy ran into some issues back home in Chicago and he couldn't make it. Billy's actually having a kid and he's getting okay. married. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So you have to come to the wedding. In what dress? <laughs> well, I mean, I'll, I'll see if my wife will let you wear hers if, if you want. But I mean, I, maybe I'll wear hers. I don't know. We, we can all go. It'll be fun. It'll be fun. Uh, uh, but yeah, Billy, Billy's having a, uh, I don't remember cool. the sex. Yeah, that was like Billy came to Toronto once and with his girlfriend, and I was like, "Just take my take my apartment, just like oh. take it for whatever." They're like, "Well, where are yeah. you?" Today? I was like, "I'll go somewhere else." And they'd never been to Toronto, and they had a great time. That's nice. And I met nice. up with him, um, the Minimal Beat. Yeah, he gave me a bunch of his. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right. He's got uh, Rosebud Records, I think, going still. Um, got a few fine artists there. Mary, I didn't want to say, and, and that reminded me that mm -hmm. something just sparked my mind. Philip, can you remove this photo? How do I do that? Didn't you there put it out? Yeah, sorry. Right. I remember, Mary, um, when I, I I was going through like a very difficult, very difficult time in my life, and and I went out to, to Michigan um, I, you know, I've spoken to Philip numerous times, um, and, and, and Dave, I think was there to comfort me too, because there was a lot of stuff going on in my life. You, you were there as well. You were, you were, you offered to send me money and, and we barely kind of knew each other, but it just spoke volumes of, of you and the kind of person that kind of, the kind-hearted person that you are uh, who, who barely kind of knew me but just knew me through a friend of a friend if you will you're, you're a good person you, you just yeah and it, it was you know in in that you know and and thank you oh. i i never really got the opportunity to thank you like in person or, or whatever this bullshit that we're doing is here you know um and when i see you mary i'm gonna give you the biggest hug and kiss and i'm fully vaccinated but i just want to pick you up and, and give you a good squeeze because you are one of the kindest hardest kindest persons i've ever ever encountered in my life um thank you and, and thank you and i think the important thing for everyone is just be that be be a kind person and that's yeah. kind of how i live and and i think that Everyone, sure. goes, everyone goes through hard times, and if if we are all there and just let people know that that you're there for them, 
can get yeah. through it or there's people feeling alone so just- it, it definitely goes a long way especially you know with, with, with the mental health things now it's 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 huge huge and i'm really happy that so many more people are aware uh, of like mental health stuff because back in the day when maybe i was growing up or you were growing up it, it wasn't so accepted maybe no, it's not if, yeah yeah I, I i don't want to say the wrong thing and i you know i i <laughs> there's so many things that you can say and you can't say nowadays and and without getting in tr- not in trouble but but blasted from all sorts of areas you know i so everybody's got to be really careful on what they say but you have been a godsend to me and i'm so happy to have reconnected with you now to be able to formally say thank you again for everything that you've done for me and and try to help me out and and you know i i've talked to dave on numerous occasions about you this is how you're doing it again very happy to have reconnected and when i see you in person be ready for a big kiss on the cheek well i i think thank you for thank you for that that's very that's special i appreciate that and and i just think I mean you it. guys have a great thing going here like you guys are super awesome and super fun well and thank you oh, thank i can you. imagine like have you like i guess you're all like have you ever all been in a room together or well, Phil, Philip and I, yes, and then all separately. I I used to be Brian's boss, actually. Right. right. <laughs> well, I'm I'm Brian's friend first and foremost. Before that, right. right. Um, well, we worked together. That's we worked. We, we did work together. And I'm sorry. You met Philip through employment. I actually met Philip in back in 2003 at the Embassy Suites in downtown Chicago in August. Speaking of Chicago uh, um, hotels, there's. Anyway, so the, I was going to make a comment about uh, how there are not very many that people can smoke at, except for one, there's like one or two that you can smoke on the balcony. Yeah, there there are a couple. There are. Um, sorry, my battery's about to die here. Hang on. No, it's okay. Um, but so so you guys have the three of you have never all hung out together? No, all three of us. No, no. Philip, Philip, and I used to actually do, um. I, I Philip and I, I uh, he's he was my best man. He's my best friend um, in life. Uh, Philip and I did a radio show pre, well before podcasting was podcasting. I guess Philip and I uh, made this radio show called Donkey Punch Radio, and it would be hours of us. Well, mostly Philip, to be honest with you, doing all the work and trying to piece it together to put this out on the internet. Um, had we known then what we know now, I don't, I don't know. You probably would have waited. Yeah, I mean, Mary. But to answer your question, Brian and I have never been in the same physical space. Really? Yeah, never. Oh. No, but oh, yeah. we've been doing this for a year. Oh. Uh, I've been Can trying I... to figure out how tall he is. He says, he says he's 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 six he's one, but I, I like he could be. He could be five or five. I don't he know. Have a suggestion for like when you guys all meet. Like first, I'll be in like different windows, <laughs> you know. Like go to a building and like, oh. like you'll each be in a window. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. And then you walk out the door and then meet. <laughs> can can you can you actually? Can, I can, can you? I can make anything happen. Yeah, make it happen. Make it happen. I want you to photo. Uh, do the pictures and the video for it. Like, I, yeah, like this. You exactly. did a music video. I did. You know what? And he, this is actually. It's an interesting story. Is that I, um, I would play it right now, but I I don't know. I we've been so, spoken to by the YouTube about playing certain videos. Yeah. So basically, if it's hers, um, if it's hers we can play it. Um, well, the band's pretty popular. All right, then we won't do it. Yeah. So basically, um, I was asked, like, you know how I make, like, you know, my art is just kind of like it's like yeah, you know, scotch tape and whatever. That, sure. That's like. The line about my art is like when I met LeBron, was it LeBron or something like a famous basketball person? They were like, LeBron, how yeah. did you, how did you customize your, your sh- shoes? And I was like stickers and tape, you know, and that's kind of like the, the level of my art. Yeah. Um, but my friend believed in me and he was just like, can you make a video? And I was like, yeah, yeah sure. Like I'll make a video, whatever. Thinking it was just like me, like, you know, and then I got 
from Warner Records, I got like the, the criteria and it was just like, you need this, this and that. And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> like you mean a video? Like I thought you meant like, just like a, like me, like PowerPoint. Right. PowerPoint right. really quickly, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so, wow. so then I had to learn Adobe Premiere Pro in one weekend. I don't know if you guys work in or know what yeah, that no, is. Yeah, no, well, yeah, I have. Yeah, I mean, no. It's like what basically like actual film people use and like study for years, but I had two days. Hey. It has over 200,000 views now. So. Actually, I think it has a little bit more. Um, it, you know what? If I get banned, well, it's not watching now. It's not watching now. It's like, are you sure? Wait, wait, well, wait. you know what? I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna cue it up because no, 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 no. I did a better one. So, oh, okay. But what yeah. I learned from that was, um, <clears throat> I mean, I mean, one after when I had kind of more time for myself, and that one is like really good. Well, yeah. Oh. Because- you learn stuff you get better at everything so it's like oh like the first one you had to do it on the fly and now you're like oh well if i knew that then so now i know this does this this that's what that's what barry always said (laughs) (laughs) that's what barry always said yeah i don't know if he talks much but okay um yeah so all right so yeah so the video that's all that's not that's not much that now but um, no, no, no. I'm, I'm going to end the show with it, if that's okay. Well, I don't know. Are we going to get banned? No, we're not going to get banned. I'm, I, what, sue me for what? What do I have? Well, well wait, 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 wait. wait. I, before we do this, like, what? No, no, I'm not playing. No, 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 yeah, we're, I'll, we're I'll just email you guys it. It's like, it's okay. Like, All right. All right. You know what? I'm going to play a Sam thing to end the show. You and if Sam that. wants to sue me, yeah, well, <laughs> I can talk to Sam personally. I think we'll be okay. But it could be a record people. Maybe I shouldn't do that. Who's um? Hold on, I have I have it here because you did this video for them and I um, shazammed it because I really oh Sunfields like, yes yes yes. Yeah. yes. I, okay, here's an interesting. Well, I'm talking too much. But Get some. An interesting story is that my friend who I did that video for, he's like, you make videos, and I'm like, not really. Like I just did it because like. I, like I had to, like I was asked to, so I, I did it. And then he was like, "Well, how much do you charge?" And I was like, "Nothing. Like th- uh, this is like my whatever fun." Yeah. And then, um, and then he's like, "Oh, could you take this song of mine and uh, and make a video out of it?" And I was like, "Yeah." And he, he asked me the song, and I said, "No, not that song. I don't. I don't like that song. We'll do this song, right?" And then. <laughs> yeah. But the but the guy, the guy that I made the video for, like we used to be like arch nemesis. Like we like he like like I once jumped out of a moving van because I was like I fucking hate this guy. I'm not driving. Really? Well, you know. And then we worked like collaborated together artistically, and he, it was a pleasure and a joy. Huh? No, oh, that's great. That is good. I think it's because I met his wife and I really like her too. Well, that, that's a huge <laughs> plus as well. So, Mary, I'm. I play, I play that one. That one's a bit better. Which one? Are you seeing what I'm doing? No. No, we okay. can't see anything. So, Mary, I typed in Sunfields, get some Mary O'Connor. Uh, okay. But isn't there a video? I want to see the video that you directed. Didn't you oh. direct our video, the Sunfields? Yeah, it's called a uh, heavy blinker. Heavy blink. Oh, okay, that's it. Yeah, let's go. That's it. All right. So, Philip, I'm gonna end the show with this heavy. And if we get kicked off of YouTube, then it's, it's really nice to meet you guys before we say goodbye. But yeah, it's Mary's it's fault. Mary, you, yeah. you were great. You guys Thank are awesome. You. Wait, hold on. I have to find it. Hold on. Play a, l- play a little bit and end it. Because then no, you- no, fuck that. I'm playing the whole thing. Oh, you can no. Play- no. What are, are they, yeah, Mary? Are they signed to like a major label? Let's just let's just say goodbye. Yeah. Hold on. All right. <laughs> no, I don't want this. I don't want this episode to kick oh, off. It won't. And and quick thing, back to the drummer. I met Max Roach. Oh wow, one of one of the greats. Yeah. Well, tell us I a felt, story. I felt bad. Give us a story. Give give us a little story, Bianca. Oh, actually, okay. This will be my my goodbye, but. 
<clears throat> so I, I, I love jazz, like I love all music, obviously, but jazz, the greatest jazz concert of all time was held at Massey Hall. And so they did this thing where they reenacted it and they had like Herbie Hancock and like, like all like modern day jazz musicians, like, like reenact it. And then, so I went to these symposiums cause I couldn't afford the ticket. And it was in the basement of Massey Hall and you would go to one, it was three symposiums. So one was about the history of the show because there was a famous boxing fight and no one was, went to the show. The second was that um, uh, Charlie Parker sold his saxophone for heroin and had to play oh. on a, like a plastic saxophone. And then the third was something else. And so I was, I went to the, the thing and this old man was like, you like jazz? And I said, yes. And he said, well, here, come, come be my guest tomorrow. And I was like, he's like, but if I give you this, will you show up? And I was like, yeah, okay. And then I went and then all of a sudden I'm walking down the red carpet with this 90 year old man who was one of the people who actually was at like, the, the concert. And all, all my friends were like, this guy thinks he's on a date. I'm like, he's 90, he's, wow. he's not on a date, he's 90, right? And they're like, he thinks he's on a date. I was like, he's 90, right? <laughs> <laughs> And so then we go backstage after and so, um, they did this famous like salt and peanuts, which is like this like famous kind of drum thing that you must know. Yeah. And and he was so kind of like senile that he was like tilting back. And then like Herbie came up on stage, he would just like tilt him forward. And then afterwards, um, yeah, it was just like it it was great. And then yeah, the 90-year-old man did hit on me. <laughs> <laughs> Arthur. <laughs> Arthur, <laughs> Arthur, the ninety-year-old man. It well, if I if I can move like Arthur can, I mean, why not? You know, and you're not. Why not? Oh, and you're ninety. And you're ninety. If I'm moving like that, but if I live to ninety, no, <laughs> oh, that's yeah. that's a, yeah, right there. That's the that goal. is it. Miss Mary O'Connell. Yeah, great. Thanks. Thank you. Fun. Thank you so so much. And we're gonna be in touch very soon. Um, check her out on Dangerfield Radio. Uh, Mary, do you want to plug once more where we can find? Sure. What he said. That's it. That's <laughs> it. All the links to Mary are in the description below. Please uh, like, subscribe, and everything else to Mary. One of the finest human beings that I know. Genuinely, thank you so much. Love you. Um, let's Get together very soon for, for a nice martini. You guys are great. And I hope you have a wonderful night. And, and thanks so much for having me. Okay, guys. No problem. Thank you. All right, Mary. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Good. Thank you. Mary O'Connell, everybody. Mary O'Connell. Wow. Philip. Yeah. Mary O'Connell has left the building. It's like Elvis has left the building. Correct. That's what I was going for. Great woman. She had a, she has a lot. Yeah, you know, a lot of stuff. She's awesome. Yeah. Gemma, she's did we get to you your last photograph? Did no? I don't feel like we did. I got to pee. And I have that to was have not to my question. I have to pee really bad, and I have to have a cigarette. So we're going to wait for the last photograph. No, no. Do and, you do you have uh, another the, photograph? I, I do. And with I the have. photo. And with the photo. I don't no, know. No, no, no. Uh, where oh, you got somewhere to be tomorrow? Well, eventually, uh, yeah. I haven't seen I, mean, I haven't seen right Philip in a couple of weeks. Brian, you've been lackadaisical this whole show with, with popping in and out with your well, internet connection. Uh, uh, yeah, I know. If I you know. don't mind giving me a, maybe maybe a few minutes to go urinate and then go have a cigarette to I guess. relax and yeah, then come back. I mean, a few is, that, minutes? is that too much? Is that a few minutes? Much? That's not too much. Is that too much to ask? No, is what I'm asking. No, yeah, it's yeah. It's Holy a lot shit! Fast. I apologize. All right. I just saw the fucking mouse. <laughs> oh my god, this is classic. This is classic. He's he's a he's a portly fellow. <laughs> yeah, you you right. compare him to a possum. I mean, of What's course, that? you compare him to a possum. He's got to be a big. Mouse. He's a, he's a portly fellow. Yeah, 
Because he keeps eating all the treats. Ramon, you got that house. she's got to gotta get him. I'll be back. Give me, let me. Yeah, do whatever you have thing. to do. Myself and Philip will kind of um, tend to the show. Uh, yeah, so um, I'm out of photos. I mean, I had three. I mean, it was a lot. I should think about honorable mention because speaking of photos, there was one um, that I, you know, everybody's seen it. Uh, it's it's an old photo. It's the gentleman iron workers, you know, they're having lunch and it's sitting on the beam and probably building oh, yeah. like the Empire State Building or something like that. Right. They're like a, That's a classic one. 100 yeah. feet above the ground. Yeah, and they're just... Feet are dangling. They're just eating lunch. They're just doing their thing. Um, that was one of the ones. I should have probably thrown that in as an honorable mention. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, millions of photos. A lot of good ones. Um, hi. Yeah. Uh, uh, look, uh, General's back. I don't know what he has to say. But I, I didn't go smoke. I just peed. I'm back. Won the show. Do you wash your hands? No. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thanks for your honesty. I did not. Okay. I did show that picture, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah so you got one more. One more. All right. Ugh. One second. Philip, I didn't get at this. No, you're not. You're not <laughs> getting. Good I was really. I was on here. point with the fucking things before. No. The, that that ship is set sail. No, look, being... look. See? See what I did there? Look at that. <laughs> I forgot to put that up. Below. Okay. So. I put it up last week, though. You weren't here. You, you didn't even say, hey, nice work on that. Yeah. What, I mean, what, what do you want <laughs> me to do? Last week's show was like about... Football. What are we, what are we doing? I have nothing to say about well, that. Well, we, no, we were supposed to be our most angry moments, but we kind of just did one, and then uh, we talked about the Fantasy Football Expo. Oh yeah, yeah. which it's is fun. important, but I don't no. have anything. I I don't have anything intelligent to add to that. All right, here's my number one wife. Oh my god, at the wedding, Brian, as yeah. as Brian just quickly exits. <laughs> Just yeah, this is uh, this is my wife Ramon. Oh, um, yeah. I believe right right after our our vows. Yeah, maybe, maybe literally like just like four or five minutes after, uh, before we walk in together into the room thing, you know, uh, and she because uh, Julian was sleeping, our, our middle boy. You can see he's he's still in the diaper there and, and yeah. was passed out. Half suit, half half nakedness going on, uh, and I, I think that little Jumbo actually wheeled him down the aisle in in that uh, little the wagon wagon, right? Yeah. This is the second appearance of this dress tonight. Yeah, yeah <laughs> it is. <laughs> this dress, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I, I, look, I look better in it, don't I? No, no. you don't. You no. don't look better. She, she no. looks better in this dress. And I, mean, I love she's still killing. drinking. I love she's still drinking the wine. That's yeah. awesome. Well, that's yeah. That that was the thing. If she wasn't even drinking the wine, just holding hold, holding child in hand is, is that's that's a mother right there, multitasking, can hold yeah. the kid yeah. and you know yeah, make she dinner, does, she, drink wine, whatever. Yeah, she does it all. Yeah, this is what inspired my uh, my uh, my toast when I when I sat down to write the thing. It was seeing mm. her with your with yeah, your that's children right. with your family, yeah. uh, and then I sat yeah. down and I'm like I just, and what, my fingers went. Listen, man, I went to work on that. I, I've said this before. In person and 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 here and wherever else, the greatest fucking thing I've ever heard in my life, really. I, it, very heartfelt and thank you. Yeah, thank you. no, you yeah. you're you're welcome. But like, I'm saying, it was inspired by yeah. your wife right and there. your your children and your family and what I saw that weekend. So it was it was Bravo. It, yeah. 
Yeah. So we did it. photos. We <laughs> did photos. Thank you to Mary O'Connell. Oh, uh, yeah. She's great. Everything with Mary is listed down below the Boys and Girls Club of Canada. Um, well, what, what do they call it now, Philip? BG something. Yeah, yes. Yeah, something. Uh, I'm sorry, Mary. I'm sorry. Anyway, the link is below there. Uh, both of our Instagram pages are on there as well. And and um, the Hawk 101.5. The Hawk, yeah. Yeah. Philip, I got it. I thought it was. Yeah, you got it now. I got it. I got it all now. Philip, what should we end with? What are our choices? We have the tribe intro, dandy intro, Moses intro, ODB outro, MF Doom outro, Viridian promo, Doom, cult intro, Doom, Doom. Doom. See you next week. <laughs>